Today we will learn how to calibrate your dial indicator. We prefer to have the long pointer in a 12 o'clock position and a small one on zero. A calibration process might be necessary, for example, after changing the tip or the tongue. To set the dial correctly, we open the screw and by moving up or down, we change the pointer's position. Don't tighten too much because this will block the axle from going up and down. By turning the outer ring, you can choose the perfect position for the zero. I don't really like it. It's almost at 12 o'clock. I open it again and put it just a little further in. You see, it takes a little expertise. It takes a little exercise as well. I turn the outer ring. Now it shows zero. Last check. Yes, this goes smoothly. And finally, I check the alignment. It's not technically necessary, but it looks much better that way.